Is the cheapest camera microphone you can get on Amazon any good? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Welcome back to reviewing the cheapest. That's where we go out and we find the cheapest tech, cameras, microphones, lenses. We go out and we find the cheapest stuff and we show you, hey, is it any good? Or is it a cheap piece of crap? Today we've got the Mic 01 stereo on camera microphone that I got for, ding, amount of dollars. I don't always remember the exact amount because I have a terrible memory, but there we go. So here in reviewing the cheapest, we're trying to do three things, right? We're trying to find out what comes in the box, then does it do what it says it does on the box? And then number three, is it a cheap piece of crap? Or could it work and do some fantastic things for your own video production or just fun stuff around the house? So let's get to it. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do things a little bit differently because this is a cheap stereo microphone and I have, hold on. And I have a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, one of the best internally powered microphones on the market today. So once we set this up and we start doing some outside vlogging audio tests, we're gonna compare the cheapest microphone against one of the most expensive microphones. So let's crack this box open. My friend Jim Hightower, ooh, good. Jim Hightower sent me a box opener that I actually broke the other day, but I don't need it because this box just opens on its own, which is outstanding. So in the box we get, okay. The iVoTor Digital Video Camera Professional Stereo Microphone, English. Thank you for purchasing our product. Well, you're welcome. So it comes in, product parts, product features, blah, 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 blah. Here's some specs if you care about audio specs. I don't know what any of that means. But what I am impressed about right off the bat is that it has a battery. So there are, there are microphones that do not have internal power and sometimes those are not the best. Uh, I personally like microphones that are either phantom powered like what we're doing right now with an XLR microphone or one like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that, uh, ouch. Or like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that also has an internal battery. So this is the Great Power CR2 lithium battery. I really like when they give us lithium batteries because lithium is just so much better. But it does not look, I don't think this can charge um, internally. So what does it say it can do? There's again the specs. It can do stereo, it sounds clear, and it works with digital products. Oh, sounds clear, stereo, stereo. So camera, microphone, so camera, microphone, black. It doesn't actually, but here is the microphone itself. It actually, you know, it doesn't feel too darn bad. It's got a little hot shoe mount here. It's got a little, it's got a little hot shoe mount and a little tripod mount, and man, on and off. And it looks like it's got some, it's not just straight on or off, it's got some decibel gain on it too which is pretty darn impressive for such a cheap little microphone. I'm really excited to hear how this sounds. Let's put the battery in it. I assume the battery goes here. Oh, it goes like that. Almost broke it. Okay, pop you in. How, okay, there we go. Pop the battery in. I probably just broke it. Okay, is it turning on? Should I get a light? Oh, there was a light for a second. Audi Maybe it's gotta be plugged in. Do I have a camera that I can plug this into real quick? I'm just grabbing all sorts of stuff today. So here's a GH4 that we will be using in videos next week. Let's put it on the little, let's put it on the little vlogging tripod so we can plug this microphone in, see how it sounds. There we go, that's a pretty discreet self-powered microphone. I mean, it's about it's about the same size, maybe a little bit longer than a Rode Video Micro, which was a microphone that I used for a very long time. It's actually a pretty good one. Can't do much with a camera without a lens. Let's pop on the Leica 12 to 35 millimeter lens. Okay, let's see, do we have, come on, open up. Do we have audio, let's turn it on. And the little light turned on for a second, so let's see here. There we go, do we have no memory card? Okay, got it, no memory card. Okay, it looks like we do have audio, so can you see that? All right, so we've got it probably cranked all the way up, so let's take it down to the first little notch. So we're at the first little notch now, can you see that? 
first little notch. Let's see how it, okay, that sound, that looks a little better. So let's turn on. Okay, we're in focus there. Let's see how it sounds. No memory card, because why would we have a memory card? Now we got memory cards. It's that kind of a day where apparently I will forget everything. So let's, it doesn't help that I'm also like really sick right now. So, okay. Let's see here. You guys can see the camera. Here we go. Camera number four that's recording us right now, but. Okay, so this is the audio quality out of the cheapest microphone we could find on Amazon. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Now I have it set to the middle setting, which it looks like it's a little quiet on the uh, the display here. So let's crank it up all the way. Okay, so this is the cheapest microphone on the highest setting and it does definitely, can we move you over here to see this? Okay, so now uh, I moved the other camera so that you could see this because it does look like it's recording in stereo because you'll see the left side and the right side are not the same. So when you're editing this later and when we check this footage here in a second, you just got to be careful when recording to stereo because it's really easy and I've done this where you'll screw up a track and if people are wearing headphones, they'll be like, why am I only hearing audio out of one headphone? Or if they're wearing the other headphone, they're like, why am I not hearing audio at all? So this has been a really long test of the cheapest microphone. So what we're going to do now, you already know what that sounds like. I'm going to review this. We're going to head outside and we're going to do some vlogging tests. And we're going to do some comparisons between the cheapest microphone and the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, as it's one of the most expensive microphones. So can you save some money? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome outside to the audio test of the cheapest microphone we could find on Amazon. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to record with the GH5. We're going to have the internal recording settings of the GH5 turned all the way down to minus 12 decibels. Then we're going to turn up the internal recording on the microphone all the way up. We're going to see how it does. And then we're going to do the same and see how the audio compares to the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus which again is one of the best microphones currently on the market. So let's, let's set this down and let's hop into it. We, we switch sides. So let's start with the vlogging microphone on power go focus peaked. You can see focus peaking. Ah, that was a, was a camera joke <laughs> and it's cold out here. <laughs> oh, no memory card. I forgot a memory card. So we're back with the memory card this time. So now ready to go. Focus peaking, camera ready, audio recording, audio test begin. Whoa, that's kind of weird. This is not necessarily a vlogging test, but it's more of a microphone test of the cheapest microphone we could find on Amazon. But if, we, oh, broken toe. But if uh, we could take this as an opportunity to then do like a vlogging test with the GH5, I'm gonna take it because I love any chance I can get to bring the GH5 out and about. So we'll do this for about a minute so you can hear the audio capabilities of the cheapest microphone. Now this is a stereo microphone, so it's gonna to record to the left and the right channel. So after you do this, you will need to, in your editing program, or at least the way that I do it is, I will then set it to dual mono so you get one channel for both ears if somebody's wearing headphones. Like we talked about earlier in the video, I've had it where I've ruined videos because people wearing the wrong headphones or people wearing headphones at all will be like, why is the audio only coming out of one channel? Gotta, gotta check that stereo stuff. Okay, so this has been the audio test. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Okay, let's swap it out. <sighs> Time to swap. Did you like how I, I transitioned it and then came immediately back to you guys? That's the level of professionalism you can expect here. We don't always remember memory cards, but we try to get all the cool transitions and stuff like that, right? <laughs> While we have it and I'm thinking about it, let's do a quick check where we do an audio check with the camera without a microphone. So we get baseline of no microphone, then we do the cheapest microphone, then we do the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So let's menu. The mic level on the GH5 is now set to zero and we'll do a quick test of the internal microphones on the GH5. Audio test begin, whoa. Okay, so this is the audio test with the GH5 with no microphone on it, only using the internal microphones on the camera itself. The decibel is set to zero. So this should give you a good sense of, if you just have no microphone, what will the camera sound like? Now, one of the problems with using mirrorless cameras without any microphones is there's no microphone here on the front of the camera. It's like, I think they're on top. Yeah, the microphones on the GH5 are on top. And so that's gonna be a problem where you're not gonna necessarily pick up everything that I'm saying. You could pick up all sorts of stuff that's just going on in the background. And that's not necessarily, you wanna make sure that your audience hears what you want, not necessarily what the universe wants. That's deep, deep thought. So this is the audio test of the GH5 without any microphone attached. Audio test one, two, three. 
audio test one, two, three, and ah, back. That was the second time. Man, I'm getting, I'm getting good at that. So now we've checked the cheapest microphone. We've checked the camera without any microphones. Let's pop on what I consider to be one of the best internally powered microphones, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and see. Is it worth it or should we just buy the cheapest microphone we can get? Why not? The audio you're currently hearing is being recorded off camera with my Zoom H1N. That's where this lavalier microphone is going, uh, just to make it a little easier on myself. Mic level adjustments all the way down to nothing. Okay, so now the camera's set up for the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Internal level set to negative 12 decibels again. Let's get going. Still in focus? We're still in focus, hooray. Benefits of manual focus. Recording. Audio test begin. Whoa. Okay, so now we're on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the decibel set to minus 12 inside of the camera. The Rode is set to plus 20 decibel. Internal camera preamps are generally pretty bad. The GH5 does have pretty good ones, but you always want to have your microphone do the heavy audio lifting if you can have it. So right now we have the Rode doing the majority of the work for the audio, so we don't have to use the preamps inside of the camera. But when you get things like the XLR adapter, which is what you heard earlier, uh, that's like a professional audio thing which sounds, to my mind, it sounds amazing. So audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Man, it is freezing out here. Oh, you can't see it anymore. Man, that makes me look like I'm fibbing. Okay, done here, go back over here. <laughs> Okay, so you guys currently know how that sounds. I have no idea how that sounds, so I'm gonna hop inside, review it, and through the magic of editing, okay, and we're back. So we've had a chance to review the footage on both the cheapest microphone, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and then the camera's internal microphones themselves. So obviously the worst was the camera's internal microphones. Again, it captures every sound from every direction, and it's not the, the internal preamps are definitely not that good, especially when it's using its own microphones. Uh, but what did I think about the cheapest microphone? The Rode VideoMic Pro Plus is the better microphone. I like how it sounds. It's got more of a rich, like a rich sound to it. However, the cheapest microphone actually did a really good job, and I thought it did much better than just the camera by itself. So would I recommend the cheapest microphone? You might notice, normally here on Reviewing the Cheapest, we do something where I call the crucible, where I will drop it a whole bunch and see if it breaks, but you may have noticed this in my voice that I am currently getting sick, so we will not be doing the crucible today. Uh, we'll just... It feels fine. <laughs> so would I recommend the cheapest microphone on Amazon? I would recommend this if you just need something, maybe you have a B camera that you don't use all the time or you don't have the money to spend on something like this. Uh, I really like internally powered microphones. You can do things like make this work harder than the camera itself and yeah, the audio quality coming out of this thing was pretty good. My big negatives about this camera is the kind of battery you're gonna need. It's kind of a rare one and you'll probably have a little bit more trouble finding these, uh, but if you can get them, it'll be fine. And then the real big problem I have, if you wanna use something like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, you can get a longer adapter cable and then plug it into like anything and use this as like a, uh, a boom microphone for everything. But as you can see here, this is attached. This doesn't come off. So you would only be able to use this plug straight into like the top of a camera. If that's what you want, great. And yes, I would absolutely recommend it for that. Was it the best? Nope. Was it the highest priced? Absolutely not. But it was the cheapest. Thanks for watching.